Shortly after the turn of the 20th century, the introduction of the tractor to agriculture was a landmark innovation that helped farmers make a giant leap forward in reducing workload. A century has passed since mechanical farming began reshaping the landscape. To mark this anniversary, the nation's attic decided to honor one of the first widely used tractors. For the American Enterprise exhibition uh, here at the National Museum of American History, we have an entrance icon, which we change every, every um, year. And this year, we decided to make it the year of the tractor, because the tractor is so important as a business story, not just a farming story, but a business story to the nation. In the spring of 1918, the John Deere Company, looking to expand into a newly growing tractor market, bought the Waterloo Gasoline and Engine Company in Waterloo, Iowa. The introduction of the Waterloo Boy tractor was seen as the pivotal switch in farming, from animal power to mechanical power. So there had been tractors earlier, but 1918 is when they really start to take off. By taking off, it changes the way that, that ag is done. It's, a, it's an industrial revolution. Instead of having horses and mules to provide power, machines start to provide power. And this is a fundamental change to rural America. Although the early machines seemed to be more work than farming with a team of horses, every new model plowed the way for farmers to do more with less. Tractors named Avery and Advance were in the field before 1918, but they were large, cumbersome beasts that required a steep learning curve for operation. The advantage of a tractor working all day still set those farmers apart from their colleagues who remained committed to a culture of working animals. Those big tractors, in fact, didn't work well for farmers. They were too big, they were too complicated, and frankly, they were too heavy. But the lightweight tractors were simpler to operate, much cheaper to build, and turned out to be a, a different technological azimuth and really began to be successful. Well, previously to this tractor coming along, people were farming with horses and mules. And uh, you're severely limited on how much you get done every day because the, the mules or horses got tired. These tractors came along, they made them fairly cheap to where farmers could afford to buy them. And they would, this tractor probably replaced uh, maybe a team of horses. The Waterloo Boy tractor was not a powerhouse having about the same horsepower as today's standard riding lawnmower. It also lacked the comfort seen in later models. It's clearly not as massive as a modern day tractor. The steel, cleated steel wheels are, are different and the fantastic decals on it, uh, the, the seat hanging off the back, all these things make it look a lot different than a, than a modern day tractor. The N was the first tractor model to carry the John Deere name and the simplicity of the machine fit the popular tractors selling at the time. Early on, there were vast numbers of manufacturers, very little in sales, but in 1916, there were nearly 100 different manufacturers of tractors. By 1918, um, tractor sales really start to uh, begin to build, and by 1920, uh, the number of manufacturers drops considerably, really just a couple dozen, and sales are up to a quarter million tractors a year. The celebration surrounding the 100th anniversary of the tractor stretched from the nation's capital to the nation's Corn Belt, where the Waterloo Boy, and almost every model produced afterwards, was the highlight of Creston, Iowa's 4th of July parade. Organized by a local John Deere implement dealer, JD fans from around the countryside brought their tractors to paint the town green. We've got 75 tractors all here to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the John Deere tractor. Oh yeah, you get all them pop-up tractors in the back and it's just it's got a nice little beat to it. Even Iowa State Fair got into the act parking a Waterloo Boy tractor sculpted out of butter next to the event's iconic butter cow. As the year of the tractor comes to a close, 
farmers are left to reminisce about the importance of what has grown from humble beginnings. From Market to Market, I'm John Torpey.